Yeah. Yeah. The Israeli Prime Minister uh, said that the fighting, uh, specifically in Rafah, is winding down. The intense fighting is winding down. Uh, what have they told you specifically on that issue? Or given, have they given you a timetable or what have you? And do you, what is your assessment of what that means exactly, that it's uh, winding down, according to Israel? And with the risk playing up north? So I don't want to get into too I don't want to get into too much detail about our conversations with respect to these matters, but they have told us much the same of what you have seen them now say publicly, which is that they are getting close to an end to major combat operations in Rafa. And so I will let them speak to what that means and what future deployments will look like. But from our perspective, what it means is the importance of working on all these plans for the day after the conflict, because we don't want to see in Rafah what we've seen in Gaza City and what we've seen in Khan Yunus, which is the end of major combat operations, and then the beginning of Hamas reasserting control and reasserting activity uh, in those areas. And we have been quite consistent that for there to be uh, an enduring defeat of Hamas, there needs to be a plan for what replaces them. And what replaces them needs to be Palestinian-led governance. Uh, it needs to be realistic security plans. It needs to be realistic reconstruction plans. And that's what we continue to work towards with our Arab partners in the region and as we continue to push the government of Israel to properly consider.